Is it the right time to buy or sell MSP Recovery stock? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into MSP Recovery. We previously published a report on our website on Thursday, November 2, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Keeping up with our updates is crucial to stay informed about any potential impacts on your investments. Elevate your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Experience the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analyses for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of October 16, 2023, our system has ranked MSP Recovery as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.44. Now, let's take a closer look at the stock's performance during this period. If you had followed our analysis, you would have seen a remarkable gain of 38.62% since we first listed MSP Recovery as a buy candidate 14 days ago. This equates to an average return of 2.76% per day since it was identified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, providing a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders. It is expected to react and move towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock breaks the top trend line at $2.74, it may indicate an even stronger rate of rising. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a possibility of a significant 192.1% .1 change over the next three months. The potential return can range from minus 38.34% to 205.27%. In terms of the 12-month trend, there is a projected minus 24.62% change over the next year. The potential return can range from minus 100.00% to minus 22.15%. This means that the stock could be valued between $0 and $2.04 after a year. In today's update on MSP Recovery, we have some interesting news. The stock price had quite a volatile ride on Thursday, moving between $2.42 and $2.85. On Thursday, the stock price of MSP Recovery Incorporated dropped by 3.32% from $2.71 to $2.62. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 17.77%, reaching a low of $2.42 and a high of $2.85. It's been a period of ups and downs for the stock, but over the past two weeks, there has been a significant gain of 67.95%. Interestingly, the trading volume also decreased on the same day, which can be seen as a positive sign since volume usually follows the stock price. Specifically, the trading volume fell by 6 million shares, and a total of 1 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to approximately $3.17 million. Looking back over the past year, the stock's highest price was $3.24, while the lowest price was $0.0430. As of now, the current price is 19.13% or $0.620 lower than the 52-week high, and 77.61% or $9.08 lower than the all-time high on May 18, 2022, when the price reached $11.70. In this video, we will discuss the signals identified for MSP recovery. The stock of MSP Recovery Incorporated has received by signals from both short-term and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal from the relation between these two signals, where the short-term average is above the long-term average. If the stock experiences corrections downwards, it will find support at the price levels of $1.96 and $0.86. However, if the stock breaks below any of these levels, it will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, there have also been some negative signals issued, which may have an impact on the near-term development of the stock. For instance, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, November 1, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 3.32% so far. It is predicted that the stock will continue to fall until a new bottom pivot is found. In terms of volume, it decreased along with the price during the last trading day. This reduction in volume reduces the overall risk, 
as volume should typically follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, this is a buy signal. Pivots, this is a sell signal that occurred two days ago. Bollinger, this is a buy signal that occurred 131 days ago. Short-term moving average, this is a buy signal that occurred seven days ago. Long-term moving average, this is a buy signal that occurred 16 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, there was a buy signal 32 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see Short moving average, this is a buy signal that occurred 16 days ago. The long-term moving average, this is a buy signal that occurred 16 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, there was a buy signal 14 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for MSP Recovery On the downside, the stock has support levels just below today's level at $2.47 and $2.17, indicated by accumulated volume. However, it's important to note that there is no support from accumulated volume below today's level, which increases the risk. If the stock price drops below the support at $2.17, it may experience a significant decline. This stock is known for its high volatility, meaning it can experience significant price movements during the day. Additionally, the Bollinger Band indicates a wide prediction interval, further indicating the stock's very high risk nature. In the last day, the stock had a price range of $0.430 or 17.77% between its highest and lowest points. Over the past week, it has shown an average daily volatility of 37.35%. Before we explore potential good trading levels for MSP recovery, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio is a critical indicator that measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. If a company has a negative P-E ratio, it means that it either has negative earnings or is currently losing money. It's important to note that even well-established companies can experience downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, if a company consistently maintains a negative P-E ratio, it may indicate insufficient profit and potential bankruptcy risks. Today, we'll be diving into the potential day trading levels for MSP recovery. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for MSP recovery is at $2.71. If you're not holding any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. However, for those who already have the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the other hand, if the price dips, MSP recovery encounters its first support level at $2.47. If this support level holds, it could present a promising entry point with the potential for a rebound. Let's dive into some recent insider trades. The most recent insider activity involved Rapasarda Paul Howard, who both bought and sold a total of 361,896 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the four most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative, with a ratio of minus 62.400. In total, insiders have purchased zero shares and sold 361,896 shares in the last four trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $2.49, which represents a decrease of 5.1%. This particular stock experiences significant daily movements, making it a high-risk investment. We have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was detected just one day ago. Is MSP recovery stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, there are several positive short-term signals and a general positive trend for MSP recovery incorporated stock. This indicates that the current level may present a buying opportunity. However, we have slightly downgraded our analysis conclusion from a strong buy to a buy candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture. 
Furthermore, our systems have identified that the current price is undervalued, based on the volatility and movements observed in the last trading day. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, November 3rd, we anticipate MSP recovery to open up $0.0100 and start trading at $2.63. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. We want to emphasize that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to StockInvest, where we give you an in-depth analysis of the current stock market. Today, we want to hear from you. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree with our view of the stock? We value your input. Additionally, we'd love to know your target for this stock. Are you aiming high or playing it safe? Let us know in the comments. If you find our content valuable, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay up to date with all our latest stock insights and trading tips. Thank you for joining us today. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day. From all of us here at Stock Invest, take care.